hey monitors on today's what's up monitors on today's holiday episode hey monitors on today's episode you ever get tired of doing something over and over and over again because you screwed up the last time and the time before that well how fitting that we're going to talk about Frank Carnahan's film coming out in 2021 on Hulu, Boss Level, starring Frank Grillo. It's a time loop story, one of my favorite subgenres. Frank Carnahan, Joe Carnahan, and actor Frank Grillo. Uh, uh. The time loop story has become its own genre, but we'll call it a subgenre. Ever since the hugely successful cult classic Groundhog Day, the time loop story has remained an extremely popular kind of movie and television episode. While, of course, Groundhog Day has remained the best and most successful time loop movie to date, there have been some other entries, and some of them have been rather good. Ark, The Edge of Tomorrow, which is one of my personal favorites. Then a lot of TV shows have played with looping as well. Star Trek The Next Generation's Cause and Effect. Stargate SG-1's Window of Opportunity, which was definitely one of the more humorous entries in that show. There was ABC's ill-fated Daybreak. Netflix has had a few entries. See You Yesterday, which was produced by Spike Lee. Naked. And the very popular Russian Doll. There was also the recent Hulu entry Palm Springs, among many others. Filmmaker Joe Carnahan and partner, actor-producer Frank Grillo, bring this latest entry in this genre, Boss Level, which should air on Hulu early next year. Boss Level follows ex-Delta Force soldier Roy Pulver through his repeating day, which always ends with his gruesome death. The film drops us in after Roy has been looping for almost 140 times and has established a routine that he narrates us through. He knows where all the threats are because in prior loops they killed him. The day always starts with Roy being woken up by an assassin who tries to kill him in his bed the morning after a hookup with a young lady who we find out later put a tracker in Roy's molar. Then his apartment gets shot up by a helicopter gunship, which results in him jumping out of his window into the trail of a truck on the street several stories below. Immediately after that, he carjacks a guy with a challenger and evades some more assassins. By the way, he's given all of his assassins nicknames. And in this point of the story, Ray's day has progressed to a point where he always gets killed in a noodle shop where Ken Jeong is behind the counter. And after getting pretty sauced on bai juice, so that his death is not that unpleasant. After that, the film switches gears significantly, going back to the day that the loop starts. We find out that Roy's wife, Gemma, played by Naomi Watts, is in trouble. She has built the time looping machine, the Osiris Spindle. But she realizes that her boss, coincidentally played by Mel Gibson, is a butthole. She starts Roy's looping, trusting that his skill set and tenacity will be enough to resolve the situation. Joe Carnahan has managed to take a rather formulaic subgenre that has been perhaps overdone over and over and over and over again, and found new ways to make it really interesting, if not original. First, he has Frank Grillo as his lead. He knows him. Grillo is in his lane here. He has the comic chops and is up to the physical challenge. Time looping usually does have its comic quirks, and the film tends to play that up generously. This film has several laugh-out-loud moments, and yet while the film is also gritty and has some crazy violent action, it's smart. And it's impressive how the movie takes the time to explore so many loop variations to see how Roy progresses, just like playing a video game. Perhaps one of the trappings of this genre that is a problem for this film is pacing. The pacing isn't slow by any means, but it is awkward. For instance, after being introduced to Roy's looping existence, the film slows way, way down and takes a drastically different tone when Naomi Watts' Gemma Wells and Mel Gibson's Colonel Ventner are introduced to set up the beginning of the loop. All of a sudden, the film is taking itself very seriously. Also, Roy and Gemma have a son who doesn't know that Roy is his father. Although it creates yet another shift in tone, there is a really nice sequence when Roy gets to know his son by spending loops with him. Another problem with loop films is 
the Jeopardy pretty much has to be manufactured because essentially there is no fear of death. Boss Level doesn't even try to address this. The film is about one man's journey through extraordinary circumstances to essentially become a better guy. Not that he necessarily starts off being bad, but there's room for improvement and he does improve. Roy becomes a better fighter, he becomes a better father, he becomes a better person, and it's really cool watching it happen. And also, the cast. Okay, for this flick, Grillo's not a stretch. Even Mel Gibson makes sense. Not saying that he isn't still very, very good, but you might have heard that his clout is not what it once was. But Naomi Watts? And cameos from Ken Jeong as Chef Jake, and one of my personal favorites, Michelle Yeoh, whose Tai Fang arrives to give Roy some sword lessons. Will Sasso, also co-stars as Venter's hired muscle Brett. Boss Level is a well-made time loop film and checks most of the right boxes. Despite some shortcomings, it was thoroughly entertaining. Like I said earlier, look for this one on Hulu in 2021. It's definitely worth it. What's up, monitors? Today we're going to take a look at the series content. Please leave your comments below. I want to hear from you. Just be nice. And as always, ready. Definitely will notify you for about new content. And that was my phone. That'll be enough of that. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode. What did you think about anything that we talked about today? Uh, you should definitely check out Boss Level when it comes out next year. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. As I said, we're always looking to add to the family. And please click that like button and help us out today if you would. Guys, in the meantime, until next time. Until next time, be good to yourselves, be good to each other, peace, and we're out. God bless. And by the way, this is the real reason that Jeremy Johns has so many jump cuts in his videos.